This is Wes. Um, all the Doom channels are having a heyday. And out with this. This is looking pretty weird. Pretty scary. Um, but I'm 61. And I cannot remember a time in my life adult life when we haven't been this close to duking it out with our aunt. So I think there's more money in it going to war with them I mean it's the only thing that makes sense so and I'm not doing the whole head and sand thing I mean I am totally aware that our species well the Advances made by our species over the past 100 years, 200 years ish, somewhere in there, are at risk of being erased. Uh, I want to see this new movie coming out, this Civil War. Um, I'd like to know when um, which fantasy a civil war in the United States doesn't destroy the economy on the entire continent of North America. Both <clears throat> there's that's there's a clip on there. Three hundred Canadian. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's not gonna work. Anyway. A lot of the people screaming, this is it, this is going to be the big one. You know, claim faith in a higher power. And most of those people claim faith in the God of Israel, the, the, the God of the Bible. And a large portion of those people claim faith in the Son of the God of Israel, the God of the Bible, who goes by the name Jesus or Yeshua. Yet, I don't hear any of them talking about how they're praying for enlightenment and the spreading of the gospel and the knowledge of the truth of the word, all of that. When Sean Bakey come up on my port, I'm within my God given right to, to shoot him. Jesus can figure it out later. Well, there you go. That's, I don't know. Is that is it in Cletus 1 or something? I don't remember it. In it. I, maybe we ought to just type that in, write it in. I mean, if the left can rewrite the Bible to make everything okay. Maybe we can just write the stuff that we want to be in our faith and then just have it put in there. You know, just boom. The, the book of Redneck. The book of whatever. Interject. You know, whatever you want. There's, there's right and there's wrong. <clears throat> what it says in the Bible is going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. There's nothing you can do to stop it. 
I used to think we could like prolong it or put it off or whatever, maybe. But the God at the end of time knows everything that happens up until the end of time. So when he showed the guy, John, what was going to happen, then uh, would have been nice for some, some date stamps or whatever, but we didn't get them. You know, that's pretty much the way it's going to roll. There was no ifs, ands, buts, or maybes in there. And if they write the book of leave us the hell alone us and put it in the Bible, then things will get better. That's just a lot of there. The U.S. was a beautiful notion, a beautiful idea. You know, a a country of self-governance. But then everybody quit wanting to govern themselves and <clears throat> started electing people to govern them. And the government quit working for the people and the people started working for the government and um, that's just the way it is now. <clears throat> so, Iran's this Iran thing. This may be the the straw on the camel, man. I don't know. Um, I still stand with Israel. I mean, they um, they started fishing out people to put up. Things talking about how bad it, you know, Israel is talking about how bad it is to be Palestinian in Israel. You know, um, if you would quit attacking and killing people in the country you live in, then you wouldn't be a criminal. That's what's you know, thought. With the whole damn country, the United States is going to be like Detroit or Philadelphia or whatever for too long, anyway. I just, I just got out of Dallas a few days ago. I'd go there for something. It's, it's already starting to look like, uh, Philadelphia did in the 80s. I was in Philadelphia in the 80s. And, uh, they just run hand in hand. Anyway, God bless y'all. Stay alive. Hold on. Stack to the rafters, man. That's all you can do. Because um, that's in there. It's in the book. Talking about there's people out there that had enough sense to to put up groceries so they didn't have to start on top of everything else. God bless y'all. Y'all stay alive. Hold on.